Hi golfers and welcome to today's hallway session. Today I want to talk about how it is possible that the tour players and some of the best players in the world actually dip their head as they are swinging down. So they're almost squatting a little bit and losing a little bit of that height in their head to the ground. And a lot of people are like, how do they not chunk it? How is that possible without them actually chunking and hitting into the ground? and not into the ball. So that's what we're here to talk about today. All right, so this is a concept that is fairly often misunderstood or just not quite clear to people. And trust me, I get it because that doesn't make any sense. How can we go closer to the ground without actually hitting the ground, right? Um, but we do have to remember one variable and that is the rotation and the forward press that is part of that rotation. Um, and so if you take your club and I'm gonna take a regular club here for you guys to show you this, if I take this club and if I simply put that out in front of me, and I think you're gonna see this better on like an, an angle, there's a certain distance between my chest and the end of this club, right? But now, if I push my hands forward right here, what happens? Do you see what happened there? I'm gonna go back and make sure this is actually in the frame. We're starting from straight, like a setup, and then we're gonna push our hands forward. And this is extreme, but what happens? The club head, distance to my chest actually becomes less, right? So from here to here, we almost gained a foot towards me. And that is the same concept of why pros don't chunk it, because we don't return to impact. And this is, let's keep this to an iron conversation right here. We don't return to impact. And even with the driver, actually, it's the same thing. So it's really important to understand that we don't return to impact ideally in the same position that we left it. So setup is kind of the, you know, the, the first position, but impact, we don't come back to impact in that same way. We don't go up and swing and then come down this way, right? There's rotation, there's momentum, there's forward press. Impact looks more like this. This is impact. So see how here my shaft actually has forward angle. Again, so setup. And if you ever worked with an impact ball, you all have seen this. When you're pressing against something and you're rotating and your right arm starts to tuck, your right arm starts to bend or your trail arm, depending, there's forward press. So now actually my head can dip. You see this? It can dip and I'm still not hitting into the ground. So that's really why this is possible. And I think understanding this <clears throat> makes a ton of sense of why you really don't want to go the other way. People think that they have to extend when you lose your spine angle. There's, they're thinking they actually have to extend and kind of come up and out of it for different reasons. Usually that's because they need to shallow the club here because if you're a little bit steep here, what are you going to do in order to, when you stand up, see how that shaft just by standing up gets shallower and then you're kind of in that situation. You want to make sure that as you're swinging back, you can actually drop and keep that angle right here. Keeping this angle is what that forward press and that lead with our hands, if you keep that, you'll be able to actually drop your head a little bit, just like the pros, get that forward press, compress the ball and hit the ball really well and hit the ball first before the ground, even though you're losing a little bit of height. So if there's anything you want to lose in the downswing, it's not your spine angle, <laughs> it's, not, it's not this, it's actually the height from your head to the ground by keeping those angles well and by rotating and by having that forward press and that forward lean in your shaft at impact. I hope you like this tip and that I was able to clear that up a little bit for you because I think that makes a ton of sense. I think this is not widely understood, but once you have understood it, it's really easy to kind of start getting those feelings down and to actually understand why the pros do what they do. Let me know how it goes. Leave me a comment below. Give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to become a full on hallway golfer. I upload these videos twice a week. So make sure you get your free golf tips. I mean, heck, um, otherwise you'd have to pay for them but these are free. So thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you guys being here and I'll see you next time.